Here we are, 7.30 p.m. I kept him here with me, but I couldn't see him like that anymore. It's, if you once invested so much energy in a dog and the people are really giving a shit about him. It's a disaster. It is nothing but a disaster. His balls are as big as a mango. Only in the balls I would say there are 100 mango worms. By the way, mangoes, mango worms and mangoes, the mango tree, have nothing to do with each other. His balls are as big as a baby head. As my fist. Let's agree on my fist. Bigger than normal. And I'm going to remove all these mango worms now. It might take me an hour or two, but... Honestly, I can't see him suffering. So, Mickey, let's go. Where to start? Seven thirty-five p.m. Can they come there? Snoopy, the other dog, went home right away. I think he only had a hundred megawatts. And I told them that they have to send me pictures of how they take out the webs. And actually they did do that. They finally managed to take out the worms with three people. Snoopy is a very easy going dog, still a puppy. And they must have taken out 50-60 worms. 50-60 maggots. But Mickey is so bad, especially his croto. He definitely needed a sedation. Snoopy, they just removed it without sedation. And that even shows how how ridiculous it is. They could have just, instead of coming here with this dog being infested like crazy, they could have just taken five, ten minutes at home with two, three people and removed the worms. Problem solved. And it's not that I haven't told them that before. <sighs> So, here we go. After this mango worm procedure, I will neuter Mickey right away because it is another thing that I am telling them for the last, I don't know, one year. Mickey needs to be neutered. Mickey needs to be neutered. Mickey needs to be neutered. Next time we need to neuter Mickey. And nothing. Niente. Absolutely nothing. It doesn't help that the owners are actually Lebanese. I think that is the worst thing that you can do to an Arab, to suggest that he has his pet, no matter if it's a dog or a cat or whatever, neutered. Still way to go for the world to understand that not all animals are always happy having their chance to reproduce, especially a dog like Mickey who's locked up all day without the chance to go after the girls that are constantly in her, his neighborhood in heat. It must make him crazy. Sitting in a small hut, I think he has a doghouse, three to four meter in diameter. Of course, no tiles, just open soil. And then they wonder why it looks like shit. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. The problem is really if it's so many you lose over you. I don't remember where you have been and where. Because the, the holes where the maggots were inside closes, but it closest by the elasticity of the skin, but it takes 12, 8 to 12 hours, I would say. So, if the worm is out, you don't feel a big difference right away, because the, the lump is still there. So you just have to go and squeeze and try to remember where you were already. A little bit tricky. Usually a case like this is 
recommendable to do it in fractions. 100 one day, the next 100 the next day. But as he's not asleep, of course I will try to use this anesthesia to remove as much as possible. Remove maybe 90% of the worms. As many as possible. Let's try to count how many are in the screw tool. One, two, three, hey, where are you Four, five, six, seven. Seven big ones. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen. Did I count this one already? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, some smaller ones, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, uh, yeah, 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 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 41, 42. Forty-four, forty-six, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, huh? Isn't it? Okay, forty-five. Forty-six. Forty-seven, forty-eight. <sighs> Honestly, my hands are getting too slippery. Forty-eight, maybe I make a break, take a break at fifty. Fifty. Small break. Usually, I have Fatu around so she can help me cleaning my fingers, either by reaching some paper or by more invasive methods like licking it clean. But as Fatu is at home already, I have to use a tap. 50. 51, 52.
71. 71. Mickey, if you were awake, I guess you would not be so happy. And at last, when I was squeezing, started squeezing the boards. No, I lost count. 71? I think so. Maybe I can use this opportunity to tell the many, many people that like to steal my videos on YouTube that I honestly don't appreciate it. 72. Every week I have to report to three people that decide it's funny to re-upload my videos to YouTube and pretend as if 73, 74 and pretend as if they were doing the job or were a veterinarian or were whatever. 75. Not funny, guys. Because my work in the Gambia is partially funded by the fact that I have a YouTube crowd, 76, and this YouTube crowd supports my work. So without that YouTube, I would not be able to treat all the stocks that I am able to treat now. So whoever uploads the video to YouTube, Damages my work in the Gambia. Are you aware of that? So in case you are you were not aware of that, I would really honestly beg you stop doing it because it doesn't make sense. Number one, I'm going to report it anyhow. Number two, it gives you bad karma. And number three, I I really don't like it. Thank you. 75. Scrotum finished, more or less. Maybe there are another 4 or 5 maggots, but it's not, it's not a big deal to leave them inside. Now we continue with the legs, and I stop counting. Counting takes resources in the brain, and these resources can be better used in finding worms. Although they're honestly not so difficult to find. <laughs> they're kind of visible already on the outside. I should have put some music before I started this job. With the music, everything is easier. I think you will know anesthetics soon. <coughs> this whole dog is one big lump. I think this would be a nice case for a live streaming. 
live streaming from the Gambia. Only problem, of course, would be that our internet doesn't support any uploads faster than, I don't know, two kilobyte per second. Oops. It means my live spirit streaming of me taking out worms of Mickey in the Gambia and it may take an hour or two. It will last three hours or four hours in the rest of the world. People will think I'm crazy to, to spend so much time on one doc. One doc that honestly That's the worst owner in this country. I don't even understand why they always come back to me. Every time I have a heart attack and I tell them that they are the, the worst people I've ever met. And it doesn't help. They don't stay away, they don't care of the dog. They just don't give a shit. They just expect me to fix it again. And again. And again. Frustration! I'm swinging here from depression into frustration, back to depression. Very bad. Very bad, very bad. After a while, your fingers start hurting because they are so tense. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to play piano. I guess that prepared me already for this job. Twenty years later, some strings in your fingers. Hmm. Huge lymph nodes here. Is it visible? Very big, very big. That means that this whole thing didn't start yesterday. All the inflammation that is here in the lower part of the leg already drained along the lymph nodes to the lymph node here in the in the knee pit. And the lymph node is now fighting with the infection. Of course, they waited again too long. Actually, they, I don't think they even wait. I guess they only look at their dog once a week, and then maybe every Friday? Today is Friday. Or maybe every Thursday? Thursday evening, yeah. Let's agree on Thursday evening. Every Thursday evening, these people look at their dog. Thursday evening, 8th of January. Oh, it's alive. Hmm, nothing you have to worry about. Thursday evening, 14th of January. Oh, it has lumps. It is not really eating. Oh, hmm. Maybe we take it to Micha and let him fix it. Let him do it. As he doesn't have any hobbies anyhow. The other side of the body. The first side, including the scrotum, took me 35 minutes. So not too bad. Thank you, you're not sleeping. I gave him a little bit more anesthetics. I hope he's going to be relaxing for the next lot of mangroves. I really wonder if there is a 
any other place in the world where there are so many maggots, I see. This maggot started to pupate. Usually they drop out to pupate in the soil, but they can even pupate in the body. Actually, I never really know what, what is their preferred way of pupating, in the soil or inside the body. This one is halfway of becoming a fly. If you would have left it another one week, the fly came out. That is why some maggots are dark. This is a normal colored mango worm. Even moving quite a lot, while well, this one is already in the pupa. Still alive, but not moving anymore. It's doing its transformation. Mass murder in the Gambia. Mangoes. Millions of fleas and ticks. Hmm? A few dogs, a few cats. But maybe we've improved the life of one or two animals through all these efforts. Maybe, maybe. Hope dies last. Yeah. What was that? Ah. Mickey, I told you to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Schlaf, Kindchen, schlaf. Deine Mutter ist ein Hund. Dein Vater ist noch ein Hund. Beide sind sie unterbunt. Schlaf, Kindchen, schlaf. Schlaf, Mickey, schlaf. Schlaf, Mickey, schlaf. The maggots always try to get away. But they're very bad in climbing, so they usually can't climb out this path. Usually, unlike ticks, ticks are so good in running away. They're really not happy once they're removed from the animal. They try to find a way out, find a way to hide. It happens that I find in the evening or the next morning ticks on the walls of the surgery in two, three meter heights. And they must have jumped out during the day and started to climb up and reach this, try to reach the ceiling. Because ticks love to lay their eggs in the ceilings of houses in the roof. It's quite, quite neat for the baby ticks, instead of having to, to climb then on the next victim, we can just wait till the victim is standing under the ceiling and drop down and already have a blood meal available. It happened to me, I was visiting the compound of the dog owner that complained he had too many ticks, too many ticks on his dogs, so many ticks, always ticks, ticks, ticks. So I went with him into the dog house. I think he had three mastiffs, two, three mastiffs. Too many for my liking, anyhow. And I didn't think we stayed in the dog house for two, three minutes. And when I came out, I felt something crawling in my hair. And then, on closer inspection, it were baby ticks. And not only one baby tick. Honestly, that was really 
one of the nastiest things I experienced. But luckily I could show the dog owner where the problem came from. <laughs> The little brains <laughs> could have tried it himself to go into the doghouse and see what happened. But people here think that, I don't know, parasites are appearing like this. They are. Yeah, I don't know. The wizard of Banjo drops them in your compound. Grand Marabout puts a spell on you and then you are full of ticks. Voodoo. It's not voodoo, it's science. Science says if you have one tick and you let it sit on your dog until it's fully soaked with blood, and by coincidence it's a female tick, and you don't remove this stick from your dog, but let it find a place where it can put its eggs. Then two weeks later, you will have 1,000 ticks. And another four weeks later, you will have 1 million ticks. And shortly before this 1 million stage, I usually get the call for help. My dog has ticks. Too many ticks. cares for him, I can call him whatever I want. <laughs> Hans Peter. Sure. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. The good news is, of course, that this time he will not have tetanus because his tetanus infection is less than two years ago. And once you survive tetanus, or once you have a tetanus vaccination, you have a strong immunity. So, for the next five years at least, he's going to be safe. Safe from tetanus, but not safe from the people that own him. That is the problem. 